treatment of multiple myeloma has dramatically changed in recent years thanks to the development of new immunotherapies. Immunotherapies are a group of treatments that harness the power of your own immune system to help kill cancer cells. Bispecific antibodies are a type of immunotherapy that can simultaneously bind to surface markers on two different types of cells. One piece of the bispecific antibody binds to a marker found on the surface of myeloma cells. B-cell maturation antigen, or BCMA, is one example of a marker commonly found on myeloma cells that can be used as a target. The other piece of a bispecific antibody binds to the CD3 receptor on the surface of T-cells. By binding both of these markers at the same time, Bispecific antibodies help bring cancer-killing T-cells into close contact with myeloma cells, making it easier for your immune system to recognize and destroy myeloma cells. Unlike some other forms of immunotherapy, bispecific antibodies do not have to be personalized to the individual patient. They can be used in an off-the-shelf manner. Teclistamab, known by the brand name Tecvali, was the first bispecific antibody approved for the treatment of multiple myeloma. Tecvali is a BCMA-directed CD3 T-cell engager that is given as an injection under the skin. In clinical trials, Tecvali demonstrated deep and durable response rates for adults with relapsed or refractory multiple myeloma who have previously received at least four prior lines of therapy, including the three major classes of anti-myeloma drugs, that is, a proteasome inhibitor, an immunomodulatory agent, and an anti-CD38 monoclonal antibody. Before receiving the full dosage of Tecvali for the first time, you would receive two step-up doses of increasing concentration in the hospital, with at least 48 hours of monitoring after each dose. The initial process requires a hospital stay. After the two step-up doses and the first full dose, Tecvali can be given in the outpatient clinic once a week. Tecvali is available only through a restricted program called the Tecvali Risk Evaluation and Mitigation Strategy, or REMS. Healthcare professionals and centers must be REMS certified to provide Tecvali. Other bispecific antibody therapies are also currently under investigation in clinical trials for multiple myeloma treatment. Some of these also target BCMA, like Tecvali, whereas others target different markers found in high concentrations on the surface of myeloma cells, such as the G-protein-coupled receptor GPRC5D, or another receptor known as FCRH5. Some bispecific antibody therapies are given under the skin of your stomach or thigh. Others are administered through an IV infusion. In clinical trials of bispecific antibodies, some serious side effects have been observed. One potential side effect is known as cytokine release syndrome, or CRS. This reaction may occur when the immune cells affected by the drug quickly release many inflammatory signals, known as cytokines, into the blood. CRS can cause fever, nausea, headache, rash, a fast heartbeat, low blood pressure, and trouble breathing. In rare cases, severe CRS is associated with risk of multi-organ failure and death. Your healthcare team will monitor you closely for CRS during your first few infusions. Therapies are available to treat CRS if it does occur. Neurotoxicity has also been observed in some patients, including a condition known as Immune Effector Cell Associated Neurotoxicity Syndrome, or ICANS. Like CRS, ICANS occurs when the immune cells affected by bispecific antibodies release cytokines that cause inflammation within the central nervous system. This can lead to headaches, confusion, and altered levels of consciousness. In rare cases, serious side effects such as seizure, cerebral edema, coma, or death can occur. Your healthcare team will monitor you closely for signs of neurotoxicity after taking a bispecific antibody. Therapies are available to treat and manage neurotoxicity if it does occur. Other possible side effects of bispecific antibody therapies include increased risk for low blood counts and certain infections, which are common and can be serious. Unlike CRS and ICANS, the risk of infection remains high throughout bispecific antibody therapy. 
Certain precautions, such as avoiding crowds and practicing good hygiene, should be followed when receiving bispecific antibody therapies to lower the risk of serious infections. Because of the potential for serious side effects, such as CRS and ICANS, you may be hospitalized for 48 hours after each dose of Tecveli during this step-up dosing schedule. Most serious side effects occur within this period. Your healthcare team will monitor you for any side effects associated with treatment and will manage any that occur. Let your healthcare team know right away if you have any concerns. Bispecific antibodies are an exciting new frontier in immunotherapy for patients with relapsed or refractory multiple myeloma. If you're interested in learning more about these medications, talk with your healthcare team to see if bispecific antibody therapy is an appropriate treatment option.